definitely not have known how to say all of that in French. <laughs> Good. Because misinformation causes real harm. Um, it's, it's clear, I, I think that's more widely understood now than it was when we, when we started, but misinformation, if you, if, you, if you give people bad information about health issues, about uh, the, the, their neighbours, about their, uh, the, the government that is, in, is uh, running the country, they make bad decisions. They, and these, these decisions can, if it's health misinformation, can affect people's lives in dramatic ways. In, it can, misinformation can spark violence between communities. It can allow a government to smear its opponents or allow opponents to smear the government. It, it, it un undermining democracy in many ways. Journalists, and I speak as a journalist, um, and journalists have for have long been reluctant to uh, cite all the sources for their information. If we have to cite the source of information, it looks like we don't actually know things ourselves. But as journalists, we don't. We're discovering, and we need to provide reliable sources, uh, news that is built on reliable sources. And I don't think the media has always done that. Um, some media houses are worse than others, some and in the way that they present information. And more fundamentally, a lot of journalists have been reluctant to try to decide which side in, a, in, a, in an argument is telling the truth. We say that he said this and she said that, but we don't tell the, the reader or the listener or, or the viewer which of those is true. We know, or we think we know, but we don't think that's our role. And that has to change, and that's what fact-checking is all about. I think that the, the, the challenge of how you tackle misinformation is, is better understood. It, misinformation and the problems that what people call fake news um, uh, cause isn't a single problem. There isn't a, a single silver bullet that you can use to tackle the problem. The, it's a many-sided problem. It's a problem of the way that you, that the, the misinformation that, that causes harm, it's a problem of the way that uh, we struggle to provide people with reliable information that's relevant to the um, to the questions that they have. It's how we under we teach young people to understand the difference between good and bad information, and how we understand how you put misinformation, reliable information, across in a way that is credible to people.